Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Let's go ahead and get started on this problem. We'll simplify this expression by combining like terms. We can see that some of them have p-values in them, or they're being multiplied by the p's. Others are not. Uh, and we also need to distribute this 8 first before we do anything else in terms of combining like terms. So when we do that, uh, this first, uh, first turn or this first distribution is 8 times the 3p and that is minus 8 times 4 here and we can see that nothing else changed so when we combine these two 8 times 3p that gives us 24p and 8 times 4 is 32 and we have that minus and everything else stays the same now what we're going to do is, I'm going to look on the term farthest to the left, and I see that it has a p with it. This term is a negative 13p, and I can combine that with this term right here that has a p as well, this plus 24p. So just for the p's, we've got this negative 13p, and I'm going to add another 24p's. This will tell us how many p's there are, so negative 13 plus 24 would give us 11 positive p's. Next I'm just going to do the same thing with these other two terms because they do not have p's. These are just constants or numbers and we have the negative 32 and then we have the positive 19. <clears throat> this one has more negatives than positives so we know the answer is negative and uh, looks like when we combine these two, we would get 13. So we have two terms here now, one with a p, or is being multiplied by p, and one that is not. So they're unlike terms. We can't combine these any further, and this is complete. 